I, I don't, you know, I don't like my humans and my transformers. Right. Humans cannot fold into this. He would break all the bones in his legs. <laughs> oh, it makes no sense. Yeah. Then, which yeah. I actually like. I think the mutant mask looks cool on this. Um, but yeah. Okay. They did bring back X Men, so I guess we're doing mutants now. I can't wait to see this combined mode. This is trouble. <laughs> and I think the Earthrise Prime is a way for Hasbro to milk this mold until the Commander class comes out. So everybody's going to buy this, and then they're going to show off the Commander class, and everybody's going to buy that. Actually, I'm not going to gush about this. This is my least favorite of all the Jets. Oh. Hey, welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I'm Bobby the Bot. And I'm James the Con. And today we're back with another round of news. But before we get in too far, first we want to give a special shout out to our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, where you can find many of the figures we'll be talking about or any other lines of toys that you might be interested in. Go check them out. Also want to give a special shout out to our members. Thank you very much for your contributions to helping this channel. And to our subscribers, thank you as well for helping with this channel grow. We really appreciate you joining us on this journey. And Wednesday, which will be uh, tomorrow for some, but uh, or today for others who get a chance to watch this. Um, tomorrow, we will have a live sit down with TM Reviews. So we hope you can join us for that. We're really looking forward to it. That will be at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 o'clock Pacific Time on Wednesday. So looking forward to it. It's fan favorite, we hear. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. But while you guys wait, let's talk about some news. So we don't usually talk about these concept arts that didn't go to fruition, but I thought that this one was kind of interesting because we talked about the Target one. So I guess this is supposedly the Prime that they were expecting to come out that was canceled for Amazon. What do you think of this? I'm mad it was canceled. I would have picked. I would have picked it up. Me too. I actually like this color scheme way better than the Target one. You know what? I I like both. I red and blue are my favorite colors. Go figure. Being from California, um, but it it both of them look good. I do think the trailer on the Target one looks better. And actually, I think I like the red on the bot better, but I like the blue on the cab better on this one that makes sense i just like that this could have been a different character because the blue and the black is like that diaclone convoy so yeah. um i think this looks cool though um hopefully maybe we'll see it probably not but the energon cubes as brown boxes is very interesting <laughs> that I'm is that. yeah i didn't even notice that that is funny yeah. <laughs> that would have been really cool so, to have. <laughs> it would have been. And next we have Transformers 1. Supposedly the trailer is going to get shown off April 18th. Ah. Rumor has it. So that's why this is here and not somewhere where it's officially shown off. So supposedly it's April 18th. So maybe we'll see what the big hullabaloo is with these guys. I'm going to say the same thing I said for Rise of the Beast. I really do hope this is a good movie. I'm really hoping they do something <laughs> that brings it back to the cinema where I'm anxious to see it. I will go see it on uh, opening day, similar to what I did to Rise of the Beast. So um, can kind of give some feedback on that as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I kind of agree. I'm going to probably see it unless it's something that's totally out of left field. But I think there's more hope with it being an animated movie. Even though, what was it? Bumblebee's voice was Keenan, I believe. And that seems weird to me, but I'm optimistic that it's going to work out. So time will tell. Yeah, I'm just hoping for, I mean, hopefully I can get back past the voices, but I just hope it, the plot's good and it's not too, I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy would actually be good. Terrible is what, more of the word I was looking <laughs> yeah. for. How about crazy terrible? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about something else that's equally as terrible and let's talk about some leaks. Um, and Prime versus Prime has more pictures of R.I.D. Sideburn. Yep. That's, uh... This head does not match this body. At all. You still think the head's big, or you think it's small? I think the head's big. 
It actually doesn't look big to, big to me. It actually almost looks... I it think it's the... Unfortunate. Okay, maybe it's because of the shoulders. Maybe the shoulders are too small and that throws everything off for the, me. The show, because... their, their lack of shoulders. Yes, and thank you, Prime vs. Prime. He actually posted the uh, original cartoon image. And you could see where he has like that superhero V shape. You know what I mean? And he doesn't have that on yeah. this one. And I also realized, you know, I get that one of the the the, the shield is missing, but also the whole, he doesn't have that shoulder pad on this side too, which makes it look weird. Um, the arms are also blue when they should be white, and the feet are black even though they should be blue. So it's not a very good. I mean, I get it's a new version of this, but I think this. The, the, the biggest thing of the shoulders, he does not look tough. He doesn't look, you know, like a like a superhero, you know, which the original, you know, looked like. So I think this is a major fail, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I didn't like the original either, so I, I don't really care either way. But for accuracy, yeah, there, there does, I mean, he's just missing those big blocks of shoulders on, on him. And I guess, it, of course, it's due to the, them reusing a mold. Um, I don't. But know this they, mold was made for this character, and then they re the the other one was a redo re. What do they call those things? Retooled? A pre mold of oh. this. Like remember when they? I don't know if you remember. That's probably before your time collecting Transformers. Recently, they used to come out with the ream tool before the actual one. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, so they'd come out with you know. Um, I don't know, Beast Wars Megatron first, and then it'd come out with Grimlock. That never happened. That's just the first one that came in my mind. They do that type of stuff. And okay. that's really what this feels like. And yeah, this... But let, let's keep talking about it. Why this... couldn't some of this kibble go on its arms? <laughs> Have that fold up on his, his shoulder. That could have been the shoulder. Right? Have him flip around and fold around the shoulders or something. That would have looked a lot better. Um, and the what's up with the flames? You know they're what? supposed to be like surrounded with silver, and they're they're barely there. <sighs> there, there definitely could have been more detail on the flames. They're just very boring, and I can automatic. I can already see uh, a certain company drooling at the mouth, saying, "Yep, we can handle that." <laughs> um, so I, I see that getting taken care of very, very easily and very, very fast. Yeah, but that's it's another ten to fifteen bucks on top of this figure that's the part that's the problem and and honestly if they did an outline of the flames it would have popped more so and that's really what the original one it's kind of small but that's really what the original one just had it looks like just if a they would, white or silver outline or something like that yeah exactly that would have made this thing look great but you could barely see it on the picture with uh prime versus prime holding it yeah that it I mean, my mine is still in the box, the uh, whatever her name is, and that's one of the reasons. I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but I do not like Gonzo here. Now, the way he's holding it, it doesn't look as bad. It's more so when you see it at an angle where you can see the front and the side that it looks really bad. But yeah, they didn't do any, uh, any service to it with, and the engine. I know uh, before you thought the engine was too high. It, it does look appropriate. There, okay with high height um really it's just the flames and the the car they chose to use more so than anything um whatever kind of car that is but yeah the, there's definitely a lack of detail to the the flames and i can't there was no flames on the hood from what i remember correct i don't think so yeah so unless we couldn't see them because they were so light <laughs> um and here he is with the tow line which this thing's wow. really small because that toe uh, line is very small to begin with. Yeah. But, but he doesn't look bad posed with the shield. I will give him that. Maybe because you can't see the shoulders in this particular pose, but it does look decent here. Um, That's a good pose. But it's a very small figure. It is very small because I'm, yeah, that toe line is very, very small. That's. I remember when I got the original, was it Scrap Hook? And I was already like, goodness gracious, this is what yeah. we're getting into. And I was correct. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to um, put him on some risers. 
<laughs> well, let's get into what's just announced. So these have been officially announced by Takara now, I think a few days early because of all the leaks. But we got um, MPG-09. So this one is going to be an anime deco, which is why there's two different versions. And it mm. actually comes with the trailer. Um, it comes with the Super Ginrai heads in red with and blue eyes, some blast effects. Um, and it'll be roughly around $257.23. And it's scheduled for release December 28th, 2024. This looks good. It doesn't look bad, this but looks I think it doesn't look like the anime either. I'm not saying that the anime would be feasible to do in three dimensional spaces. Um, the arms just look way too small. They look skinny. They do look. They look very skinny. His his and thighs that could be the look, anime. I didn't look at that. I only looked at the waist. So his thighs look skinny, but like the the cleanup of the legs, I don't see, I don't see any gaps or or, or anything. It looks like a solid figure. It looks like it everything tabs in really nice and secure. I'm I'm digging it. Not my favorite, of course, but. This look and the prices. If it was three hundred, that was like they were killing me with that. You know, two fifty. Okay, maybe. What about the cape? The cape. Yeah, he has a cape hanging off his back. <laughs> the, the trailer. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to call it, it's yeah. a cape. Yeah, I mean, he's. But that's it's always been that from the original figure. So I'm, I'm just kidding. saying they could have figured something out if they if they. They could have figured something better out with all of the money, especially for two hundred and fifty dollars. I would have expected a little bit more. I I don't. So the part that's hard for me is when, again, you you have those. You, this is where you can you can't please everyone because if they took it off, then people were gonna be pissed because they were used to having that on their original figure. And if that oh, was like, did their it have that on the back? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, then you know. Yeah. Don't call this anime accurate, then. I'm, now, I'm pretty on sure anime, didn't have it. Yeah, on the anime, I don't remember though. I have yeah, no. that. I forgot about the anime part. I'd have to pull and, that up. And I wouldn't doubt it if it, you could clip it off, honestly. So. Now that would be. I will tell. Yeah. Uh -oh. I hate this though. The only the, because of those those arms sticking out. That is. Takara's taking one out of Hasbro's book. This is really bad. It's very bad. And actually, those like the blue um, folds that are kind of covering it, that looks like kind of like I don't I don't remember those on the toy. But again, you said this is anime. I actually am trying to pull up a picture because I can't remember. But it <laughs> it um, is yeah. it is like um. I don't know. It, it looks lazy, as you would say. I don't. I, I, mean, I just wish that the arm could I feel like down the a little bit. Yeah, that's all that really needed to happen. I feel like the trailer is the lazy part on this whole figure. I think the standalone figure, which we'll talk about in a second, looks fine. I, I also hate that Autobot symbol. You could barely see it. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like it needed a white backing or something because it's just too, too much. I don't know. Okay, so he does have the he does have the backpack on the animated too, so. Okay, all right. Well, never mind. I just think Good that's job. ugly, regardless. So. <laughs> now that's something totally different. <laughs> that is... Um, but I know it did not have these arms coming out. Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> um, I'm actually trying to. I know for a fact. And I'm like, why didn't they just make them compress? That would like, have been. They, they, they don't do nothing with them. They could have just slid down, and then it would have been fine. Yes, just a little bit. I mean, and even part of transformation, that's always cool when you have to extend the arms out a little bit to, you know, give it some definition or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't... I don't see that on the anime. I don't see any um, animated pictures of the, the cab with the arms looking like that. And the other part is, is if it did look like that on the show, that's terrible on the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, moving on, we've got Ginrai right here with his lightning, as well as the human-faced Power Master. I like that. 
I actually like the human face power master because it is a human. Uh, I hate it. I, I don't, you know, I don't like my humans and my transformers. Right. Humans cannot fold into this. He would break all the bones in his legs. <laughs> oh, it makes no sense. That's that why was, I don't like it. <laughs> that was always the case anyway. Um, I, I, I didn't like it with the Nebulons and I don't like it with these things. They make no sense. I mean, the Nebulons, okay, they're mechanical. You could you could make a, a, a thought, you know, they could, they're, 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 you know, half octopus that they could bend, whatever. But this is a human. So. I, hell, I can't touch my toes. So I know my, my feet can't come up by my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So that's, it's whatever. I get it. It's anime accurate, but you know. But here are the two next to each other. So we've got the toy one over here. And then the posed one is the anime one. They didn't have like a straight pose on it. But you can kind of see the difference. It has some color on the shins as well as yeah. forearms. Um, but I, I, I would like the original one and then take out like the toy version and then take out the hips and thighs and put it on. The toy version because I like the, the the crotch area and I like the blue on the thighs. So wait, you said you said take off the, you said take off from the toy version. Leave the toy version add... like itself. Okay. And then just add the blue deco to the thighs and the crotch piece with the orange going all the way across. Okay. I think that looks better. Um, okay. From the animated version. And the animated version, yes. Okay, because you said toy and then toy again. That's why I was kind of. Confused. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. My brain's okay, so... moving too fast. No, um, I. I, I'll be honest. I put a pre-order in for both, and I was thinking because it, it, it was going to be different sizes. Honestly, that's what I thought it was going to be two different sizes. So, I I agree with you. I would have liked more detail. I like the detail in the legs with the the yellow and the red on the toy version. I do like the the orange and the crotch piece going all the way across on the animated version the blue and the thighs take it or leave it i can't really tell how detailed that is and i'm interested in how the chest and arms look if those are different but uh i may i may cancel the toy version i don't blame you and this is supposed to be about 119 dollars supposedly um and the same release. But again, I think this inner robot looks good. I feel like they designed this and then designed the combined mode. They don't feel like they're the same team. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's it's funny that this is where being a collector gets frustrating because it's like one, they both like neither one of them is so much better than the other. It's just like you said, if I can take parts from this one and parts from this one and put them together, it'd be like a, a much better robot. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think either of us have a very big connection to this character to begin with. So we're both kind of like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And again, I have the original, but it's not, again, it's not my favorite. Yeah. I was trying to see if I had it. I should have pulled it out, but no. I will say, if they do a Nemesis version of just the cab, I might pick that up. Not I, of the combined mode, because I don't like that combined mode, but if they do it just the cab. And it looks decent, I might pick it up. Now, if they did do Super... What is it? Super Nucleon Convoy in the cab, I might pick that up. Though. That's a lot going on there. It is. Let's move on to some third-party stuff. So, DNA Designs showed off that they will now include dual blades because I think one of their posts got 200 likes. Yes. So, and they will also be adding little guns for RC. And if it gets 500 likes, I'll add another thing. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Like, likes, <laughs> not backers, not, <laughs> you know, like likes, like these are the things that your money's going to go far with. And, this is cool. I, I like that they're adding these little things. I like how the guns look like they are little um, exhaust in the the alt mode. The the blades look really good on the B. I this is what I like. I, I've always liked DNA. They don't 
make everything that I need for my figures because I don't buy a lot of Hasbro, but they make really good things for the Hasbro figures that are lacking. So kudos to them for this. At, at least with this RC, this is what it should have already came with. It to totally, <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally. Moving oh, on, there we you got go, Medicates, full, transparent, full transparency prime or Magnus. It has a blue face, so Magnus, but this is this skateboard prime looks even worse and clear. Yeah, you can stand on this and look like you're hovering, James. I think if you stand on this, it's gonna shatter into a million pieces. It probably will. Yeah. This <laughs> even if it was skateboard sized. Yeah. So yeah. I don't I, get... I, I think they should have not painted the face. I I, I mean, it's a novelty already. They should have not painted the face and just kept it all clear because that kind of ruins it. I I actually would have liked to see a little bit more, you know, just highlighted colors. And like even well, even a little bit like a, just on the inside, like around the matrix chamber or something like that, just a little bit of detail. I think that would you could have still kept the, the clear body and all, all that. But I think that would have looked really cool. OK, let me let me put it this way. <laughs> I, if they were going to do this deco with nothing, they shouldn't have done the face. If they wanted to do the face, like you said, more paint would have been um, very appreciated. Let me put it okay. that way. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I that, agree. Because I was doing more because there's nothing. So gotcha. give me nothing. But if you're going <laughs> to, I think that would look good too. Or even have the windshields yeah. painted, you know, and maybe a little blue here and there, but, or red, or whatever they wanted to do with this. But um, let us know if you're getting this Legends figure below and tell Bobby why you should get it. Another thing that's annoying me is why all these companies are putting random blurs on their pictures. <laughs> that's another thing I want to talk about. So let's keep it moving. <laughs> and we've got Robot Toys RT-01 Caesar Burning version. Um, this is only 25 bucks, so okay. not bad. Um, no, don't look at me like that. I don't, I've talked about this. I don't like the blue head. If it was a red head, or black or gold, maybe, but not blue. I'm telling Mrs. Khan you're looking for redheads. Um, if they turn into a gorilla, I'll gladly take them. <laughs> um, I think this looks good. I'm okay. I did get a, a KO of the MP version of this, and that's good for me with having a, a, a red primal. Or this is this has the same thing with the one we just looked at. I wish it had more paint and color on it. Um, it has more than the last one. Not gonna lie, but I wish it even had more. Because um, this gorilla mode, you just lose it yes. completely. I feel like the face needed to be gold. The face, or something. yes. Right? I can't. Yeah. I can't tell. Like it looks like on the bot mode, or well, with it standing up, it looks like the face, uh, the mouth is open, but it's so that that's not the same thing. So it's, yeah, the other the picture is mode. robot mode with the mutant mask on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then which I, I actually like. I think the mutant mask looks cool on this. Um, but yeah. Okay. They did bring back X-Men, so I guess we're going mutants now. Um the That was a thing in the original Beast Wars toys. I, the I original mean, mine had mutant masks. I didn't have it so you would know better than i would i mean you, know. you totally had the original one of this oh you're talking up the the original the Beatles? original yes yes from 1996 no i didn't have this yeah you had the original optimus primal you said you went in and bought oh. everything off the shelf oh uh, okay not this red one <laughs> Not the red one. No, that's, no, no, that's no, what no. That's we're talking no, about. No, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. The original okay. Optimus Primal still had that extra mask that came out. Okay, around. yeah. It must have got lost, or I just don't remember it. But anyways, <laughs> yes, I thought you were talking about the original of this. I was like, uh, no, I never bought a no, red. If, if you had that, you'd go ahead and sell it, because that thing's worth money. Yeah, I, I definitely would have. Add more color <laughs> to the head, and we're good on the, the gorilla. But this yeah. is not for me. Let's, let us know if you're going to get it. Yep. Um, now, if they did some weird, funky repaints for 25 bucks, that might be in. Green and purple. Maybe. Um, next, we've got Fun B Studios, the Hyperion from Transformers Armada. I do not remember this ship. I don't remember it either, but it looks nice. It does look good. They do a really good job with their little ships. I mean, it almost makes me wish I had 
all of them to display. But I don't. Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but they, it does look good. Yeah. Next, we've got Dark Firmament. They showed off, um, I think, a TikTok. I, it was a website from China that I didn't know. Um, it just looks good. It looks really, really good. I like that the silver is on the tail. So I looked at my um, Predaking, and that's going to be like on his forearm. So it's going to break it up a little bit better. Um, I can't wait to see this combined mode. This is trouble. I mean, I already knew it was going to be trouble anyway. Uh, again, I was already in for it. But this, the, the part that's going to be trouble is that at any given point, because these, these figures are great, and I'm not going to say good. I think they're great figures. They can release these in other colors, and I'd probably still be in on them if the colors aren't, like, too outlandish or whatever. But I'd probably be in on them again because they're just great figures. And that's scary. I don't have that problem, like Bobby <laughs> does. But um, I, I, we had a comment um, that said they should release it in G1 colors. I would probably pick up a G1 Razor Claw to switch out with this Razor Claw. Mm. So it yeah. would be because I think that's the one that throws the whole thing off. Honestly, just the colors. It's just two gold and maybe a black head. Um, Somebody so. also said mentioned about a g1 head and i would love that as well and that's another thing yes yeah i i think everybody got scared when they went after unicron back you know <laughs> when this was first being released and they changed the head on it um I forgot about that just like nice c and stuff so hopefully maybe we'll get one um and we'll go from there or a g1 head would be amazing though or if they just like had you know for 10 bucks or something like that you can buy the head i do it i buy it i buy it for more hey, i buy hey, it for 25 bucks for a g1 style head don't put that out there let's, let's i'll put it out 10. there if it makes it happen <laughs> let's be happy with 10 and see where we can go with that <laughs> well let's keep it going um into some updates so the first thing we've got um optimus and optimus that are getting re-releases I understand Earthrise. I don't understand Gamer Optimus because I see that everywhere still. I haven't seen I haven't seen Gamer. Well, maybe it's because I'm also not. You haven't? Looking. I haven't. Seen I'm not. Him. I'm not looking either. I see him in Starscream a lot. I I don't see him actually. Um, yeah, I can't say I've seen him. Yeah. Maybe early on, but I haven't. I definitely haven't seen him recently. And I Mike D, let me Earth know if you've seen it around us. <laughs> and I think the Earthrise Prime is a way for Hasbro to milk this mold until the Commander class comes out. So everybody's going to buy this, and then they're going to show off the Commander class, and everybody's going to buy that. So. Honestly, I see. <laughs> to me, if, if you don't have it, you want this, you love this, great, go get it. I already have it, so I'm not, this, I'm, might be biased. If I knew that the 86 was coming out, I'd just wait. Yeah. Honestly. Unless I just love it. Have... I, I would just wait. Unless you just love it, yeah. I th I have it as um, Shattered Glass Prime. That's my only version of this Prime mold, and it's not my favorite. I It looks fine from the front, but it has so much of kibble hanging off of his back yeah. that hopefully the commander will fix up. Yeah, um, no need, no need for me to even consider it. I, I got an uh, email, a few emails today about it being released, and I was just like, "Oh, that's cute." <laughs> Pretty much. Robeson said they want you to tell them their top three desired features for Megatron. What's yours? Mine, um, for it to be a reasonable price. Does that count as a feature? That's, I mean, it could be, yes. Okay. Um, well, okay. Seriously, when it transforms into anything, just okay. that it transforms to, um, I don't know. That's it. I, I don't plan on getting this. So the price <laughs> point, um, 
but that would be if it doesn't transform i think they're going to lose a lot of sales so for me it would be frank's voice oh that's a good point i would want that now what if they use the voice actor from the bay movies because they couldn't get frank oh. <laughs> just joking keep going yeah. um two that it is so I'm, I'm torn here i really want it to be g1 and i know it's not going to turn into a gun i would want it to turn into a gun but it's not going to turn into a gun so if it turned into i guess a tank but be g1 but look g1 that would be my two and three would be that the functionalities would pair with prime so you can actually have like different fight scenes with um megatron and prime so you know we already know he has his um his his mace so if you could recreate the scene of them fighting on the the dam you know from one of the episodes of g1 or if you can relive the movie scene or something like that that would be dope so those would be my three now what if it is not scaled to the elite model and is or whichever one i don't remember which one gotcha. what if it's not scaled to yours and smaller to the smaller yes one? that would that's gonna be hard because yeah i do have the flagship and i'm not going to get the elite um yeah i, I couldn't remember which one's which yeah so that that I didn't think about that. So with that being said, I do hope they come out with two different sizes of this because it would be bad for it to not have a matchup with the flagship. And that would kind of be a slap in the face to all the flagship people saying, yeah, thank you for being a you know Kickstarter on this, but none of the other figures in our line are going to be yeah. um, scale well with it. Yeah, because even the Grimlock doesn't scale. I mean, the Grimlock doesn't scale well with the Elite version. They're about the same size or so, but um, definitely not with the flagship. So yeah, that yeah. that would be my my top three desired features. So transforms G one accurate, Frank's voice. There you go. We'll see if any of that happens. But let's move on to this. I'm sure you're excited. We have um, fans toys. A uh, Viper. I forgot the name. There you go. Fans Toys Viper FT30D. I lost my place in the notes. Um, before you gush about this, I'm going to say it looks like it should. And it looks boring. Go ahead. Actually, I'm not going to gush about this. This is my least favorite of all the jets. Oh, wow. It does. And there's a video. I'll post it down below. Um, it does look... Like it's supposed to look. There you have it. I'm yeah. excited. Where I'm gushing is that we're one more bot closer to this being finished. How long is that going to take? Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I do think this hand looks good. I like that the meaty part. I think we talked about this before with the Devastator. How the meaty part of the thumb like moves around. I think that looks really cool, even okay. though you see a lot of screws. Um yeah, I mean, just like you, if I was collecting this, I wouldn't be excited to get this figure. Besides yeah. being one step closer, but yeah, yeah, that's honestly this is the the um, air raid and um, God, why is it? The, uh, is it slingshot? Skydive, air raid, skydive. And skydive okay. are my favorite two jets of of the set, and I don't. They just look amazing. This one, you know, is was always my least favorite. So, Fireflight, come home though. I'm gonna knock on wood now that none of those fingers fall off. Um, uh, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't have a problem. I, I wouldn't doubt it. You saw that the power power glide was a plane that, as well, and his that, arms fell off. So that was uh, that was crazy. I'm still waiting on my replacement <laughs> parts for that. That was. <laughs> Oh, I'm those, sorry. Yeah, those that was just crazy. I like I, I I would never expect a fan's toys figure to be that bad. That's what I'm saying. And now they're making combiners. Watch out. Next we've got Magic Squares B56 Grimlock. 
it's very Grimlock accurate. It's it's very squishy. He looks like a plush to toy. I don't know. <laughs> it's all the rounded curves. He looks like you just whoosh, whoosh, like a like a marshmallow or something. I've always I I don't I, I I like the way it looks for what it is as as we say a lot on this show. It's it's very bright. The colors are very very vibrant on that. I would actually say though, very vibrant. Yeah. I feel like it should be gold, not yellow. But I think it was yellow in the cartoon, so I get it. Um, and here he is in a dino mode, where with his pet fish, even though he doesn't know how to take care of a pet fish. So, um, yeah, it looks like Grimlock. It does. It. I mean. Yeah, it, it, it does look better in this mode, I think, than the other one. And I don't know, it's it's just that way with Grimlock. I mean, he's I I don't I don't see why any company would have a problem making a Grimlock because it's it's pretty to me it seems pretty easy, <laughs> you know, um, because there's not like a lot of differences in transformation that I've seen from all the different Grimlocks that I have. I mean, you know, it's kind of all pretty much the same um but it looks good it, it looks really good yeah so let us know when you pick this up bobby we'll expect I'm to not see your <laughs> next we've got like toys guardian prime who's ready for pre-order so you were correct it's not rodimus it's that guardian prime um and it's 200 bucks i'll say this it looks really good it it looks it, it it's an, a very very expensive action figure i think it looks good and now we see what the hands look like i like i like the the back wings on it the colors are fine for what it is i'm not paying 200 bucks for it though <laughs> the gun is kind of sad too i mean it's probably screen accurate no no shade towards you know, like boys, but it looks like a pea shooter. <laughs> he, if a prime should not have that tiny of a gun. Well, if um, he's if it's if it's something that's from way in the past, then you know it could be like their early weapons. So I, I can give it that. They've all okay. All right. Well, if that's your head cannon, you could go with it. I think that they've always had guns and stuff like that. It seems to be the case. Because I think the ancient primes. Well, that's not G one, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. So if they were like all workers and stuff like that for the Quintessons, then you know they kind of picked up little guns or something like that when they revolted. Then you know maybe they grabbed some of the Quintessons guns. And Mining they had equipment. Little, yeah, and and they had little peace shooters and stuff like that. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm as you said, maybe that's in my head canon, but. I think that's fine for him to have this and he could have just been the the you know sometimes a leader isn't a leader he's just becomes a leader because he you know led some revolt or something like that and and this is what he did and they made him a prime who knows i don't know i'm just okay reaching. well yeah i think you're i think you're thinking too hard about this so let's move on to the last update we got dr who's monitor versus sound blaster packagings they look fine I really like them. I yeah, not I bad. I really like the the regular sound wave and um, blaster blaster. Um, that package it pops a lot more than the shattered glass Definitely. version. It looks kind of blah. I mean the colors are already light as it is, and then the lightness of the box they just kind of lose it in there. But I think the Autobot, or excuse me, the blaster and the sound wave one looks really good. I agree. I think they needed to use a different color than gray. Yeah. Like if, even they, if they did purple black. or green or black, even. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Black Anything. Yeah. It would have popped the characters out because they're already pretty monotone yeah, white and gray now. Right yeah. yeah. So they look fine. Well, let's talk about what's incoming. I think you're going to be getting this first one, and that's the four party <laughs> Metro Titan, the KO. So Bobby texts this to me because he knows I like it. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't come with Metro Bomb. But on Show Z graph, there was a comment. The front leg flaps um, are Metroplex 
Capcom colored, not Metro Titan. The red is off, but it's usually off on the, the Metro Titan KOs. The blue is also off. The thighs are on Chrome when they're not supposed to be. The stickers are just for Metroplex and not Metro Titan. And there are two guns for Metro Shot, not one gun for Metro Shot and one gun for Metro Dash. And then there's no Metro Bomb. So this is a very simple and quick and easy KO in different colors. Um, so I would not be picking this up. This is, I want the original one, but I wouldn't pick up a lazy Metroplex recolor. I, uh, I'm with you for the most part. I never had a Metro Titan, so this may be making its way to me. I think I actually have that mini bot that it's missing, at least in color alone. Maybe not, you know, just the orange little mini con that it came with. I probably have that somewhere, but to people who love Metro Titan and, and have the connection, I would definitely be disappointed. Yeah. So, um, especially at the price, it's like Expected. 100 bucks. And that's yeah. for, for it to have all those wrong parts. Mm -mm. Yeah. The chrome thighs, whatever, but the rest of it is just not worth the price. Yeah. If this was 20 bucks, I'd totally pick it up. But with <laughs> that, cool. let's move on to some things that are actually I mean, 20 bucks. If, if it was Dr. 20 bucks, I'd buy four of them. So, I mean. <laughs> well, that's a little excessive. I, I Next, we've got Dr. Who's Workshop Extreme Warfare Grapple Hook and Microscope and Black Mirror and Crane Hook, which we'll see in a second. These are via Shentu Toy Box. And again, they look fine. They look really, really good together, even though they all look like some like marshmallows or or like like some some easter marshmallows or something like that they're like i don't know they 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 don't look they don't look like the the best plastic let's say that i don't think the plastic looks horrible but i can see what you're saying it's the gray and the black throughout it but it doesn't look bad um and here are perceptor and magnificus if I could buy these two as a set, I probably would pick that up because we've already talked. I like Perceptor. He's one of my favorites because he turns into a microscope. I went to school for sciences, blah, blah, blah. Um, but since they're packaged with Grapple and um, Hauler, I won't be picking them up. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not picking them up either. Uh, I do like the Magnificus better than the Perceptor. Well, that's normal. Everybody likes Magnificus better um the perceptor again it just looks i don't know it just looks it looks good but it looks cheap well these are cheap um, that's that's true but it just looks <laughs> cheap uh, I, I get what you're saying um again if there was this two pack sold i might pick them up uh but since it's not i'm out of it so i think you should still pick them up no Mr. legends dabbler over there Dabble into these legends. No, I'm good. I think you should buy them for me. No, I definitely it. not. <laughs> Let's get into what's recently released. And there's only one. And Marco Clona showed off behind the scenes on Cybertron Starscream. Um, the only information I saw from his post was they're going to try to get him the crown. There's extra articulation in the heels, which makes some cool posing. And he said the fans want him over with the Golden Age of Transformers title. Are people saying this is the golden age of Transformers? Maybe golden shower, but... Because <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> um, I think the golden age happened a long time ago. Yeah, I don't I don't know about... Yeah, that's a, a reach there. Um... I mean, this figure does look good, but it's not... Nowhere as near of the golden age that I would expect. Look at that sideburn. I, I mean, if you if you know what I'll, I'll I'll say this, if you're new to Transformers and you're new to collecting, and this is your first run of it, and I can see that. Like if you came from, I don't know, maybe some of the the kitty toys that, you know, were out there, and then you you jumped into this, you're comparing it to what you had, like um that makes sense but if you're an older collector that's kind of been around for some years in the game i don't think that anyone would call this the golden age 
Yeah, and not this particular figure in particular. I think if all figures looked like this, different story, but they don't. Even if you don't like the Starscream, you can see that it's accurate and it actually has articulation and it's filled in where it should be, you know, but, and this figure looks good. I just don't think we're in a golden age of Transformers. Uh, I mean, you've been saying it looks good, I, but I, you're not picking it up. I'm not, I, unless I see it in a store. I canceled all my pre-orders, um, but I don't go hunting for Transformers anymore, so. Yeah. I'll let you know when yeah. I see it in the store. See if you want it. I still I w don't buy it for me because I have to see it in the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's just not worth it. It's thirty five bucks, and then all these King toys are coming out, which are way better. I'd rather put that thirty five bucks towards that credit king. Hey, I get it. I totally get it. Because, <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah, and I I don't like the gun as well. I don't like the gun that the gun is clear. I actually like the gun. That's I think it I, should be black. I, that is one thing I actually do like about it, about it is that it, the gun looks like it has some energy going through it. I, I actually do like the gun. That's probably that the only thing I like cool. about it. But I don't like that it's all purple. Yeah. If the barrel was purple or something, fine. But since it's all purple, it looks lazy again. You know, we have. I can't tell you the last time I seen a two toned gun or. <laughs> from Hasbro. A gun with any paint on it. Let's yeah, say. I can tell you the last time I saw that. So, Pro Probably back in, what, 2010. Um, <laughs> well, that's everything we have for you today. Bobby, what should they do? Uh, please go ahead and like the video. Share the video. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to tune in tomorrow, or should I say Wednesday, depending on when you're watching this video at 8 o'clock Eastern five o'clock pacific time to see our live with uh tm reviews we're really looking forward to it um and if you're not a member it's not too late it's never too late to become a member and uh we really appreciate everyone that's taken part in this journey of growth with us i think Completely. i covered oh, click that notification yeah. bell there you go hit that notification bell and those times are p.m not a.m oh yeah Ooh, <laughs> not definitely not definitely not a.m <laughs> You see these so, red eyes already? No, not going to happen. After that clarification, have a wonderful day, guys. We'll see you all later or tomorrow, depending on where you're at. As always, to all debates are one. <laughs>